And Congressman Michael McCall of the great state of Texas, chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee, also on Homeland Security. Mm. Congressman, your read on the president's performance abroad this trip. Well, I think the, the Biden blunders you refer to, the gaffes, uh, really embarrassing on the world stage. He's representing the uh, leader of the free world, and he gets confused about the guards at, uh, you know, at, in London to uh, making a, a gas on uh, policy, big policy mistakes on EU and Brexit, and just go on and on and on. Uh, I will say, <clears throat> though, however, Harris, on a positive note, uh, having Sweden now uh, go into what they call ascension into NATO is mm -hmm. a big deal. Uh, mm -hmm. This is going to make NATO an even stronger force, united, not divided, as Mr. Putin wanted. Uh, and now we have one of the strongest uh, countries from a military standpoint, along with Finland, who was recently admitted uh, as well, that can help provide the weapons into Ukraine that they need for the counteroffensive uh, to get to a point where we can call for a ceasefire and hopefully have a negotiated settlement. Well, what I kind of hear you saying there, and correct me if I'm wrong, I mean, this gets a bigger pool of cash and, and buy-in from countries. So it's not always just us, whether it's Ukraine or anybody else. That's something former President Trump used to talk about all the time. Right, I mean, Trump was spot on. Remember two years ago, or three, he went to NATO, uh, and you know the, the, the typical Washington policy people thought it was uh, offensive, but he was telling the truth, and that was they're not paying 2% of their GDP. Now, right now, Harris, only 11 of the 31 NATO nations are, are paying 2% uh, of their gross domestic product uh, going towards their military. I would hope the president, if he can remember things up there, would remember to bring this Ouch. important point up as president, Trump, Ouch. that they need to pay their fair share. Yeah, there you go, if you can remember it. Um, look, it, it's understandable if you were maybe a little bit distracted trying to talk to the Royal Guard, kind of wandering off into the ether or whatever, because there's some things cooking at home that are distracting, no doubt, for him. For instance, emails for Hunter Biden. Obama-era communications now show mention after mention of his business associates and White House staff, requests for meetings and invitations to White House events. They link the first son to nearly a dozen senior level Biden administration aides. We'll just scroll it here in the effort of saving time. It includes two current cabinet members, one past cabinet member, five top Biden White House officials and a top Biden campaign aide. This is Hunter Biden's tax and gun plea deal is set to be sealed in just over two weeks. The lead prosecutor in that case, David Weiss, is sticking with his story now, chairman that the DOJ never hamstrung his investigation. In a letter yesterday to Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, David Weiss wrote this, I have not requested special counsel designation. I've never been denied the authority to bring charges in any jurisdiction. It's the third time he's publicly contradicted IRS whistleblower Gary Shapley on this matter. Your take. You know, my take is I was a federal prosecutor in the public integrity section at Maine Justice. Uh, many years ago, it was not political at that time. I'm afraid that there seems to be this double standard at play. I mean, look, <clears throat> it's very clear under the law, uh, a quid pro quo is illegal. So if Hunter Biden wants a meeting or a policy uh, meeting, uh, you know, or have administration officials talk to business partners of his uh, that he may be getting money from, per perhaps illegally, we don't know all the facts. Hmm. But the bigger investigation <clears throat> beyond his tax investigation are these LLC corporations. Now, when I investigated my uh, Chinese investigations, that was a classic way to cover up money funneled into the United States is have fake shell corporations and funnel that money in. If this is happening with Hunter Biden, and I hope this investigation, by the way, Harris is still alive and well. And, that's and it, the that has not been you know, yeah. shut. Yeah, has, that, has that case been shut? It should not be, because that is illegal. Uh, Chairman, 